Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Thursday morning, uh, a little bit after 10. I um, was just upstairs in the office going through day job emails and things like that, but I am seriously hungry. So I'm doing the morning routine here where I'm going to bring the light into my wonderful home and then we're gonna make breakfast and snarf. Oh, look who's here. It's little kitty in my notch. Hmm. Obligatory cat footage. Today, I'm right now using the Pocket 3 just because I can't use the FX30 because I put the Suray Sniper 56 millimeter on it. I wanna show you how crazy that F1.2 is on that lens and that camera and, and just wow you. So, well, I mean, it wows me. I don't know if it's gonna wow you or not, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's do this and start making breakfast. You know me, I don't wanna go to the grocery store, but I think today I need to go to the grocery store because I'm really low on some staple foods. So this Pocket 3, in theory, it's pretty cool. And I think the footage looks really good, especially when there's a shit ton of light like this. Still not sold on the lower light capabilities, although I think this is better than the Action 4. I'm gonna have to play with the settings on that today. I think that's part of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both cameras with me and I'm going to go through each and every setting, especially for the style of stuff that I do. I mean, I can't take this with me or take the action four with me when I go on the road and lose half of my day because it gets dark at five and I still am up until like two o'clock in the morning in the hotel room and doing other shit. So it just seems like it's a waste and I might as well just bring my FX30 with a, with a 20 millimeter 1.8 or the 15 millimeter 1.4. Get what I'm saying? For now, I'm gonna wait for the skillet to get warm. Look at me with my melon filling the screen. It's kind of hilarious. So I'm sitting in three ships, not that you could tell, and I am using my FX30, but today I put on the Suray Sniper 56 millimeter lens because I wanted to show you like how crazy this freaking lens is. So right now, like here's my hand, and it's, it's like not even coming into focus. My hand is, I still got a, a, at least a ruler away from, from the tip of the lens. It's on the other side of the table and I have the table pushed as far that way as I can put it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually stick you on this table over here. Okay, so now I have this sitting on a long table, like way the hell over there. It, it's probably three yards away from me. And uh, I don't know, I just, for shits and giggles. Obviously, I couldn't record in the Forerunner because it wouldn't even focus on my face as I was way the hell too close. So this is definitely not a vlogging lens, but I'm gonna move a little bit closer just to show you the bokeh, like how crazy it gets. Okay, so now if I reach out, I'm a, I'm a, a good ruler away, but I'm way further away from the wall behind me. So now you can see how incredibly it blurs everything out. I mean, it's nuts. So yeah, pretty impressive lens, lens set. Because again, I have the 23, the 33, and the 56. I will normally have my 15 millimeter Sony on here, the F1.4 G lens uh, on this particular camera because that's the way th th I would do things. So what I got it for is for the, for the, you know, the daily vlogging and all that shit. Anywho, so I'm gonna go up and uh, order my bean. We're gonna hang out for a little bit. You're shit in your eye. Crazy. All right, kids, just for shits and giggles, I decided to continue shooting with the 56 with a little bit better of an example of, of how amazing that F1.2 is. So now I'm back at my house. I've got the camera on the YC Onion monopod sitting right in front of my Christmas tree. I'd say I'm about halfway in between the camera and the wall behind me. So that's about 12 feet from the wall and I'm halfway in between. And you can see how this is all blurred out because I've got it at F1.2 and I'm sitting on a bar stool, kind of getting myself in frame. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, does, is this just stupid? Does it look good? Does it look bad? I'm not gonna shoot like this very often because this is kind of a pain in the ass. Like I don't really have that much room upstairs in my office slash studio, oddly enough, 
because there's just too much shit in there and it's a small room. Now I started with this like over in the corner, but then it, it was just showing white wall behind me. And I wanted you to see, you know, with the shit that's hanging on the wall behind me, what it looked like. That's why I, I changed where it was. I haven't been to Pleasure House Point in weeks. I haven't taken a single picture. I haven't looked at a single bird unless I see it, you know, when I'm driving by. I gotta get there. Now I'm gonna check and see what the weather's gonna be tomorrow, but I really, really wanna go walk around Pleasure House Point and take some pictures. So I'm gonna plan that if not tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, something like that, sometime over the next couple of days. That's pretty much all I wanted to do today. Uh, you know, nothing spectacular. I just wanted to show you this Suray Sniper 56 millimeter F1.2 lens and what it looks like and, and the kind of images that you can get, or I guess the kind of footage you can get since I didn't take any pictures with them. That's all I've got for you today. Well, again, let me note down in the comments what you think of, of how this looks in the various places that I actually filmed. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.